You can easily add extra buttons to the TX16S by plugging them to these connectors. Check the video description for low profile push buttons. Bend the terminals of the push button inwards. The plugs are 5-pin JSTGH with 1.25mm pitch. I use 3-pin male and female connectors for convenience. You are only going to use these two pins. Cutter to pin the unused wires. Cut and strip the two wires you are going to use. Add heat shrink and join the wires of the male and female connectors. If you like what you see, subscribe and support the channel. You can find out how in the description below. I used one male and two female connectors for each button. Solder the other female connector to the terminals. I installed the buttons at the lower back of the radio, but you can fit them higher on the back, or at the top. Use the nut of the push button to mark the spot, and drill a hole, that matches your button diameter. If your buttons came with rubber rings, place them on the body. Test fit your push button in the hole you made. I had to grind a small part of the plastic wall that protrudes from the back. Install the push buttons and tighten the nut all the way. If you use pliers, like I did, make sure to clean any metal shavings that came from the nuts. Plug your wire harnesses to the two inner pins of the five pin headers, one on each side of the board. Connect the push buttons to your wire harnesses. Double check that the pins match and repin if needed. Plug in the radio battery, turn it on, and go to the hardware tab of the system menu. Scroll down to the switches section. Set the SI and SJ switches to toggle. You can try them out at the inputs section. 
go to the source line and press each button. For sneak peeks and behind the scenes stuff, consider becoming a patron. You can find more info in the video description. I added a tight zip tie over the heat shrink wires and a loose zip tie just to hold the push button wires together. Before closing the radio, you can quickly lower the profile of the carrying handle. Unscrew, flip, and screw it back the other way around. You can also add the rear speaker, if your radio did not come with one. These 3D printed adapters print easily and fit perfectly. You can find them linked below. If you don't like the hump at the back, you can probably replace it with a jumper T16 shell. You will need to modify the battery slot a bit. When you are done with the mods, connect the rear speaker, close the shell and screw the antenna holder. Connect the battery and close the battery cover. Put the side grips back into place, and you are done. Subscribe and hit that little bell, so you don't miss my TX16S accessories video. Also check the description for parts 1 and 2 of this mods video series, if you haven't already. You will also find my playlists for the Radio Master, FR Sky and Jumper radios, with more ideas and useful tips. Consider supporting the channel and my efforts, any way you like. You can tip my piggy bank, join my Patreon, or shop using the links below. Every little bit helps a lot.